Welcome back to Do It Myself Garage. Uh, as you can see, I've got the headlight out. I was looking at the running light to see what kind of bulb it was. Um, obviously, you can find online which, ones, which one it is, but I wanted to make sure that it was actually burnt out and not just a bad connection. So I got out of there, it was burnt out. I also found out the headlight on this side is out. Um, I always buy my headlights in pairs, so we're going to replace the one on this side also. And I'll show you how I got the bezel out and how to put the whole thing back. When I took this apart, they just go in, comes out counterclockwise, goes back in clockwise, and clicks. So to get it back out, push this down, turn it, and it just pops up. That's for the running light. So the headlight bulb for the low beam is over on this side. It's on the outside of the, of the truck. And uh, here's a new bulb. Again, as I mentioned before, uh, try not to touch the bulb. Maybe I didn't mention it before, but try not to touch the bulb with your fingers. If you want to get the oil on there, it can cause them to fracture when they get really hot. All right, that's already back in there. I'll show on the other side how to put those rods back in. But I wanted to test, test it real quick. We've got a headlight. Um, how about running lights? All right, unless it gets dark enough out, those daytime running lights don't come on automatically. Um, it's on a sensor. So come over here and you pull out the relay for the daytime running lights if you look on your map it'll say DRL pop this relay out here it is pop this relay out and short across these two far left hand uh, terminals right in here and short that out and I wasn't the wire I got isn't isn't the greatest but my friend was able to stand here and tell me that the lights came on. So I do know that it's working, but those two far left hand ones, and then we'll put the relay back in. The three back in the way it came out, and we're good to go. So it's this one right here. Let me show this real quick on this side. So we just flip these two little levers out. Hey. Don't come out that hard, but kind of hard to do one handed. There we go. And then they just slide up and then the whole bezel comes out. I'll show you. Just wiggle it out, pull it out. Pull it up. This whole headlight assembly comes out. Now I can get to the bulb. So to pull this out, Ah, a little hard to see here on this one. Make sure I show it at least once on each side. So this is the little tab you have to lift. You don't have to take this lock off. That's for the wires that are crimped. You got to do this lock right here. And I can't do it one-handed, so I'm just going to lift that, and I'm going to separate that real quick. Hopefully the camera catches this. If not, I apologize. Okay. And then this just goes counterclockwise to unlock. Push the whole bulb. Am I pushing the wrong way? Ah, so this one comes out clockwise. My mistake. So this one came out clockwise. There's a word on here. It's actually written which way it locks and unlocks. There we go. So there we go. It's back in there. Hook it back up. Slider back into place. Now I gotta push these little locks back in here. Get them both started. go done let's see if our headlights work uh, again the daytime running lights probably won't work because the sensor but at least we can try out the headlights now that I just replaced and there we go easy as that hopefully that was helpful this is that 2001 Silverado that we had the gas tank problem with uh, 
got to keep your lights going or the, uh, the popo will pull you over. So thanks again for watching. Have a great day and I hope this helped. Thanks.